It's a nice Sunday. We're going to put in a culvert. Got our buried cable lines, and we're supposed to stay three feet away from those. And we're just, I don't know, I've, I've, I've used... It's wider than this, so we're probably going to be going from about here to here. Yeah, we got a three-foot bucket, and we're, we really only need a 22-inch trench, but it's going to fill in, and it might, it might honestly be nice having a bigger bucket. It'll suck having a bigger soft spot on the road. Uh, I'm going to be throwing the dirt over there. If it does work, we'll have to put our two pieces of culvert together, make them longer. Out in the field and then bring them in here. Yep. And so I guess we'll get started. Yeah. I think dirt. Yeah. That'll be fun. Move some dirt. intermission recap how it's going so far we're about half done we've uh half done already yeah almost we put a little kink in the hose or kind of scraped it up yeah the oh what is that deep slide ahead of you yeah maybe you don't want it ahead yeah i don't know we got a decent leak coming out of this cylinder but I guess that's what happened, happens when you buy used equipment Crap. and get a good deal on it. Yeah, that wiper seal is dripping yeah. pressure. Well, it'd be more than the wiper seal or it wouldn't be leaking. It's a pressure seal. Yeah. I think I can fix that, though. Yeah, you went to school for hydraulics. Yeah. So I'll quit wasting time and get back on the horse. Okay. All right. Now be looking forward to us taking that out and watching the water rush. I can't imagine Cole having this when he was 10 years old. He would have spent hours with this toy. Maybe 10 is a little young. Okay, 12. Man, can you imagine a backhoe like that in your backyard so you can just dig holes? Oh, that's a childhood there. But instead, he got stuck with me and had to work. But now that he's 22, he gets to play in the dirt a lot. We got full head again. Now he's telling me to do stuff. All right, we're almost the length of the approach here. It seems like I've been digging a little too deep the whole time, and we're gonna have to fill it back in a little, or maybe a lot. Shouldn't be much longer, that'll be tore out, and then we'll tear this guy out, and we are excited to do that, aren't we? Woohoo!
All right, guys. <laughs> I'm so excited. It's the fun part. I'm pretty sure I dug way too deep. Especially since it's deeper than the adjacent ditch. But you can always fill it back in, I guess. Part everyone's been waiting for. Probably. So you can get the dirt all in there better. <laughs> that big drowned out spot in this field it's supposed to run into the ditch and out and now it's gonna drain and maybe we can farm it this year so that's pretty sweet that was I don't know was that fun for you guys that was fun for me well, we're gonna let that run for a while because it's gonna be tough trying to put culvert in there when it's running real fast. Plus, we're gonna definitely have to put dirt in there and we don't want it washing away the whole time. So, honestly, it might even be tomorrow if it just keeps going. Hopefully we can get it done today. So, not only is that water preventing us from planting, uh, just, you know, a small portion of that small field, it's also so high that it's keeping the road right next to it wet underneath and that road's getting tore up. And so we're not just helping ourselves out, we're helping everybody that runs down that road and also anybody that pays taxes. So uh, it, wasn't just, it wasn't just because we wanted to farm that and have it drier for our cattle, but we also knew it would help that road a lot. And so I'm gonna take the drone, throw it up in the air and we'll fly by the places where the road's getting bad because of that water and I don't know, just kind of check out the farm a little bit. So gonna so I'm gonna make sure nothing's calving outside even though things are getting pretty dry You know it wouldn't be bad in here. We just have Two cows that are somewhat close and then we got our two new herd bulls from muck Angus and They I don't know why I just laugh when I look at them because they look so similar And they just stand there and stare at you and don't move big beefy suckers good-looking bulls and they'll be used on some heifers this year, I believe. Me 
you know, if you guys calf, you get to be put out on the rye. So hurry it up. Then I wouldn't want to have to walk through this rough piece of dirt and poo to check on them. Well, it's still running pretty good. I'd say we'd want to give it another two hours or so. It sucked trying to throw dirt in there and have our culvert getting washed away. Well, we can put dirt on top of the culvert to hold it down, but yeah, um, the water rushing, yeah, could wash some of the dirt away while yeah. we're doing it. So we're gonna head over to one of our fields. We're gonna see if we think it'll be able to get fertilized here in the next couple days, because it's supposed to be pretty decent weather. But towards the end of the week, it might rain, and so. And hit that subscribe button. <laughs> yeah. All right. Looks pretty wet, Dad. In the low spots. Yep. It's wet. I definitely don't want to drive out here with a full load of fertilizer. Yeah, that's wet. <laughs> Oh, wow. Well, it's flowing pretty good and it seems like it's going to take a while. So we're going to wait till tomorrow morning and then we'll finish it. Ellie has an announcement and that is that Sunny Farms merch is now available in youth sizes. Right? Can you say it? Nope. And so the link is below for... Oh. For farm focus to check that out if your kids have a birthday or anything coming up or you just want to get something special for them those are now available and they will be shipped right to your door <laughs>